Hello there again, uh, Mike Henderson here, uh, continuing with how to typeset your novel using Scribus. Uh, we're going to look at um, drop caps in Scribus, and it's going to take two episodes because of uh, the length of time it's going to take me to show you the limitations of it and how to get around it. Maybe even three episodes. All right, in the first case, um, what Scribus, how Scribus is set up to function is that the drop caps feature is done in the styles function. So let's uh, edit. If you haven't looked at styles, go take a look at that, uh, how to work it. I think I have a video on that. Um, st uh, these styles are paragraph by paragraph, so whatever you do here is going to apply to the whole uh, paragraph with the exception of the drop cap of the feature which only is the first letter. So uh, let's do a new paragraph style which we're going to call drop caps. So whenever we want to um, add drop caps that's the style we're going to apply. And then you just click this button down here and uh, drop caps. It activates the, the um, feature as to how many lines you want the letter to run, how big do you want the letter to be. Let's do three just because I like three. This thing I want to be over here. So we just drag it over there and leave it. And that's that. Uh, we go to default character because for whatever reason uh, in the paragraph style editing window there is no save or done feature so uh, you can't save it unless you go here and apply done uh, click done and it should be there okay <clears throat> so what they want you to do is if you go here for example and you can do this by going to f2 text uh, paragraph style there's a nice big t and it's all pretty and as long as you only have one character at the beginning of the line that you want to include in the drop caps, then this will work. Uh, so one of the great limitations is it only does one character at a time. Well, when is that a problem? Well, it's a problem as it is in my book where I start with um, a, a quote. So I have the quotation mark and the first letter that must be included in the in the drop cap. So um, we'll take a look at uh, the workaround for that in the uh, next episode.